Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're going to talk about ECG electrodes and ECG lead placement. Now here we have on the screen a typical ECG electrode. You have this soft pad and underneath this soft pad is a type of gel that allows conduction of electricity to be read. Now this silver part is the part that connects to the leads, so the ECG leads. Now there are many different types of ECG electrodes. Sometimes paramedics will just for the purpose of the patient call them a sticky dot because they like to know that patients like to know that they're sticky and they feel sticky when you put them on the chest. Um, and it, they're designed to pick up electrical activity from the heart. Now you will get a chance to practice both a lead two ECG and a 12 lead ECG at the different workshops. Have a look at this image here, guys. I want to show you this one. When you put in these dots on, Remember that this is what it's trying to do. You're trying to pick up the electrical activity. Now this image shows you um, where the ECG electrodes may be placed. You can either place them on the wrists and the, in other words, the limbs, one, two, three, or you can place them on the chest, one, two, three, sometimes the fourth one as well, which is an earth lead, which stops um, interference of, of artifacts such as light and movement. So this thing here is called the Eindhoven's Triangle. And the idea is that any, any way you place these, these ECG dots, the electrodes, it's gonna pick up the electrical activity from the heart within this triangle. So let's have a look at a number of other images. So look at this one here. It shows you that you can either put them on the right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, or, the, or you can place the same leads on the actual patient's body as well. Now the benefit of doing it on the body, and this is one of my preferred options, is that it reduces the amount of movement. Think about the hands, they're particularly movable, therefore it interferes with the reading. And of course you can get just as good um, a quality reading in terms of distance. Remember on this previous image, it showed you um, a wider range of electrical reading. So I'm a big fan of this one here. Um, and of course you'll read both, both methods, you'll read the limbs and you'll read the torso as well. Both of these are completely useful. So that's what we call a lead two. In other words, you're using this to get predominantly one view, but we're using to today's sophisticated technology, for example, a LifePak 12, LifePak 15, you can actually get six views. Try and picture these limbs, these leads, that when you put them on, one, two, three, four, you're taking a picture in a number of directions, okay? Um, a good example is this 12 lead ECG. So when you do your workshop two, you'll actually put 10 electrodes on the chest and you'll get 12 views on the ECG. Okay, so that's a, a, an introduction to ECG electrodes and um, lead placement. My name's Sam Willis, and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Thanks guys.